The Detroit River is a busy shipping lane. You know that there aren't a lot of ports though available till now. Today, got Governor Whitmer toured the port of Monroe to try to change that. Business editor Rob Maloney went there to bring us this story. Rob. Ten years ago, where I stand used to be just woods, but now they've started to make it into an intermodal shipping channel, and it's about to grow. The 1,000 foot long James R. Barker is one of the biggest freighters plying the Great Lakes these days, holds 700 rail cars worth of iron ore at one time, and easily fits into the Port of Monroe single hold. It will soon have company here, though container ships. These 40 foot metal boxes are the most popular way to move cargo worldwide, and they've not had a foothold on the Detroit River or even the Great Lakes for that matter. But today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer toured the facility bringing state money. We can work together to bolster Michigan's supply chain. We know that the impact of supply chain shocks has had tremendous impact on our economy. In the 2023 bipartisan budget, there's about $15 million in state funds to add another boat hold, railroad spurs to allow for containers, and another $5 million in federal funds to put in a custom scanning facility. The idea, move freight from here out to the St. Lawrence Seaway. Paul Lemire runs the Port of Monroe. And now Michigan will be in that business and it will ensure that goods can travel to and from our region as expeditiously as possible. To Anderson Economic Group Chief Economist Patrick Anderson, this is a long overdue development. Building our port infrastructure has a high probability of helping us. And I'm glad that the federal government's going to finally put some money in after we're paying federal taxes. We're subsidizing federal infrastructure elsewhere in the country. Now, Paul Lemire tells me that this that Michigan's kind of been competing with the East and West Coast. They want all of that business. There's money to be made. But if you can put that here in the middle of the country around the Great Lakes, as Patrick Anderson says, it's very important that we keep that Great Lakes heritage for business. He says there's money to be made, and they won't be those big monster container ships like you see the ocean going once. They'll be much smaller, but he says they can be far more efficient and make a lot of money. Back to you. And Rod, what are the odds the automakers will make use of this kind of shipping? Well, I've talked to them, uh, and they say, you know, on the immediate level, they really don't know much about this. They've not heard all of the details about no. what's going into Monroe. But the, the guys who are putting this all together down there, the guys and gals putting this together in Monroe, say that they can cut three or four days off of the shipping over to Europe. So for the car companies, this may be a long-term play where they can save quite a bit of money. No doubt, because time, as we know, is money. All right, Rod.